Hey everybody, what's up? Um, ready to get this show on the road? I know Katie's going live in an hour to read her book, so I don't want to go over an hour tonight. Um, so, let's see. Make sure that my video has popped up on YouTube. All right. So tonight, hey, Pink Elephant Parlor. I have some, uh, hey, Kristen, hey, CJ. I have some Christmas stuff as well as some, well, not too much normal stuff. Mostly Christmas stuff. Um, to show you guys. Hey, Karen, how are you? I hope you all are doing well today. Um, I hope y'all made it to everybody's sale. I had to watch Norma's sale for a little while. She did a good job. I think I just drank some of my hair. Yum. Okay. Um, I don't know where I want to start. Okay. So. Let's see. Hey, Nate. How are you doing this evening? Or today, rather. Or tomorrow, rather. So, um, first up, I have this Andrea by Sedeck plate, and it's got gold gilding around the flowers, and um, not quite sure what type of flowers they are. I don't know if I can get the gilding to kind of catch the light, but the front is bisque, and the back is glazed, and it's got her sticker, and it's got the numbers 5778. But there's a sticker and there's a five five seven eight it seems pretty 90s to me but i could be wrong about that um i was thinking eight dollars number seven if anybody's interested in the andrea by Sedek plate eight dollars number seven it would go good in like a bathroom for your like toiletries or your watch or your jewelry that you take off and let's see it looks like it could fit in with the 70s too yeah like the pillowcases and stuff um, I do have some Christmas ornaments as per usual. Um, I guess I'll do these together because, I don't know, this is like a little Celtic angel and it's got the um, doodity on its belly button and it's got sparkly green wings and um you know, one of those, well, it looks like it's homemade, but it has an item number. So, it's got a tag. It's not homemade, but it's old school. And, hey, Pam's Eclectic Place. This one has to be homemade and from Louisiana. It's got moss for its hair, and it is a magnolia cone, and it's got green wings. I guess you could make that its halo too and hang it. And then it I have this little another green angel and it's kind of plasticky and handmade. It's got the pipe cleaner on the back. And does contain some glitter. And lastly, I think this is a pretty Celtic angel as well. And she's playing her little flute. And you will get all four ornaments for $5, number 14. $5, number 14. 
And there's a little close up. This one, it reminds me of those like hopping frogs you would get at the arcade as a kid, the material. And I love the face on this one. It looks very like a jolly angel. And then again, this old school looking guy. And that was $5 number 14 for the ornaments. Next up, I have this Santa and it says Bavarian 1850. And it's got a goat with the Santa, which is kind of interesting. And then Santa's kind of got like, I don't know, a different face to him. And it says that it is Wood World, made in the USA from 1989. But it's very, very heavy if it is wood. And his toy sack may or may not have been cracked. Um, let me try to get a good close-up of it. I don't know if that's just the way it was made or if it was cracked. It does have like a gap running through it. Anyways, this cool dude is $8, number 10, for the Bavarian Santa. $8, number 10. And he's got that old world look. And um, I don't know. He looks like he'd be like a pagan, but he's Santa, so not really. Hey, doggone happy vintage and antiques. And then I have this nice red in well picture frame and it's kind of got some scroll work to it and it's got the glass cover and it's an easel back and i thought it would look good for christmas time and this frame would be three dollars number 17 for the red picture frame I like how it's kind of bubbly. It's like this Stay Puffed picture frame. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and on the topic of frames, like I never get to these. And this one is beautiful. It's like, old school looking um there's flowers kind of built into the metal or i guess cast into the metal but i thought it would make a good dresser tray it used to be an easel back but the easel is broken but it does have um i swear i just saw it maybe it's on the other one. Oh no there they are it has these little hoops on the edges that you could like run a chain through and hang it and it's gorgeous um this picture frame is going to be eight dollars number 20 for the floral ornate picture frame or dresser tray it'd be cool for like um a fabric doily or any kind of old timey. Um, yeah, I have one that looks very similar to it too, but it's footed and it has um, a mirror inside, but I would put like, I don't know, a collage or something in there. And uh, let's see. Here is a Santa from 1990. And he's pretty gnarly, like he's got a super long hat, which turns into a handle, and his head is for a candlestick. 
and he's glazed over. He's kind of got the old world look, and again, the like skinnier Santa face. But he's a cool looking dude, and he's not as heavy. Yeah, vintage cards would look cool in it. I was thinking about doing that too. Um, he's not as heavy as a Bavarian Santa, but it'd be cool to like walk around the house with the candle, although I guess that would be dangerous. And it's made by OCI, which I've never heard of, but it's a pretty piece. And this is $8, number 23 for the Santa Claus candlestick holder. The gold frame did not sell and the red frame did not sell. The gold frame was the floral ornate one was $8 number 20. And it doesn't have um, its easel back, but it has hoops to hang it. And I think it would make a great dresser tray or vanity tray. And then the um, red picture frame was $3. The Stay Puffed picture frame. And that was number 17. What's up, Joel? Okay. Ah. Now, I do have a set of cookie cutters and that christmas e cookie cutters. I don't know what that one is, but okay. So, we have Santa, and they have little handles. These could also double for Play-Doh, I guess. And a toy soldier. You have the holly and berry, and then Santa's head. And then this really looks like a turkey to me. So you get a turkey cookie cutter, I guess, for the people who eat turkey on Christmas. And then there's a star, Santa with his toys. Um... An elf and what is that? Santa and his sleigh. And for some odd reason, a rabbit. And so that's one, two, three, six, nine, ten cookie cutters for seven dollars. And that's going to be number 27. Seven dollars, number 27 for the Christmas cookie cutters. Hey, Norma Jean. How you doing? No worries. Okay. I think you said 23. You wanted the gold one. That's number 20, Joel. I got you down for it. And then this is a king flat sheet and it's embroidered with a floral pattern. And I'm assuming that goes at the like end of your bed and the lace hangs over the edge, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not too, and I'm not opening it up. They have it marked as a king, so I'm just going to kind of leave it sealed. But it's pretty and lacy looking um, and floral. And this is going to be $15, number 18, for the king flat sheet, the embroidered king flat sheet. And as far as like California King or regular King, I don't know. But it is pretty. It's got pretty colors. I think I'm holding the flowers upside down. 
but they've been selling the embroidered pillowcases for 12 bucks. So I think 15 is pretty fair on the king sized um, sheet. Now let's see. I do have this, which I thought was a tree topper, and to my disappointment, when I got home, it was a um, just a big ornament. And it's very pretty though, and it's from Dillard's Incorporated in Little Rock, Arkansas. I guess I could take it out. Cooperate. Very shiny. Um, and it's got like little pearls glued to it. I do believe it's glass. And it's got like the inset in three spots. And it's a pretty cool, pretty big ornament. Um make a jewelry Christmas tree. That's cool. I have so much um jewelry i need to craft with and so yeah it's got little pearls around the design this bad boy is going to charge ten dollars for number 12. ten dollars number 12 for the dillard's incorporated ornament And then I have some pretty vintage items for Christmas as well. <laughs> this works. It's those plasticky um, Christmas candles that you put in your window for Christmas. And just, I don't know, there's not much to say about it. <laughs> It's got the cute little bells in there, and they all work. All the bulbs light up. And this bad boy is going to be $8, number 29, for the window candles. I remember these from when I was a kid. And they were like old when I was little, so. And then after Christmas, you can put like different color bulbs and do like shocker lights. That'd be great. And have like good energy in your house. Um, okay. This is pretty cool. It's a Snoopy. And what's Snoopy's yellow bird's friend? I don't remember his name. Um, like air snow globe, and you can put it, it plays music, and it says season's greetings. And you can set it to no sound if you don't want to hear the music, which is pretty awesome. Snoopy and Woodstock, yes. That is right, Norma Jean. And this is going to be $7, number 25 for the Snoopy um, Air Snow Globe, I guess I'll call him. Hey, Stephanie. $7, number 25. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it takes batteries, so it's not going to be that old, I don't think. Well, I guess back 2013. Got you, Norma Jean, for number 25. Thank you, ma'am. And then, let's see. I do have some more older ornaments 
These I think were handmade. Um, they're just the two turtle doves. And good. I'm glad I like that. And then you have this reindeer, and I think he goes on a doorknob. Hey, vintage conversation. And this little bird has a little bit of staining on its wing. I don't know if y'all can see that because it had like supersonic lighting above my head. There it is. And I don't know. It's like the home homemade ornaments. And those are going to be $5. Number nine for the homemade ornament bundle. $5, number nine. This is like, I don't know, nostalgic. It reminds me of stuff from when I was a kid. Hey, Katie. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's going to want this. She had hair when I bought her. <laughs> and I was like, that's really cute. And a homemade angel. And then when I got home, I was like, her hair's starting to fall out. And then I like tugged on it a little. <laughs> and then she kind of got... A lot of um, hair loss going on. Anyways, five dollars for this um, punk rock angel. Five dollars, number sixteen. Mm -hmm. All righty. This is a pretty cool um, tree. It's got a bunch of bells on it. And it was originally $23 from Accents. Maybe that was the department. Uh, and usually I have some kind of measuring device around here. But maybe not at the moment. But he's like almost forearm and a finger tall so i'd say a little over a foot um this little christmas tree is gonna be ten dollars number 15 for the bell christmas tree ten dollars number 15. And I have this awesome angel. And its wings pick up on the light as well. I guess I could turn off the light further. Oh. And make sure y'all all go watch Katie at Vintage and Vinyl after this. She'll be on at the end of this hour. But she's a really cool, I forget what you call those, oh, fiber optic angel. And now she's turning purple, but you can't tell because I don't know why, and blue. And it's pink to red. She's like really deep colors. I don't know. And that's green. When you have her in person. And if I don't die, this pretty lady, she does have, I guess, some, a little bit of wear to the silver around her, but her wings are in good condition. And she is going to be $8, number 22, for the Fiber Optic Angel. $8, number 22. My mom collects all those light-changing Christmassy things every year. I think she gets a new one pretty much every year. Um... I do have this 
Yukago China made in Occupy Japan piece. And it is very pretty. It would make a nice gift. Oh my God, that angel's hair is in there, gross. Punk rock angel. And it's got these cutouts in the bowl. And it's got like little pearl eyes detailing along the edge. And little divots in it. And I believe that is a plum and an apple, but I'm not 100% positive. And they've got some light shadowing for more leaves in the background. Oh, look at that. It's a, like a star. And this is going to be $12, number 13, for the Occupy Japan. I'm just going to call it Fruit Bowl. $12, number 13. Thank you, Norma Jean. Um, those ones were given to me by D from Thrill of the Thrift. And then mm -hmm, the ones on the other side, <laughs> the ones next to the latch hook butterfly art was given to me by D. And the ones on the other side of that glass ball was from Don Maserati. I like them a lot. Okay. Then I have this little vase. And it is unmarked. And it has a little boy playing the violin in his little red bicycle cap is what I call this. But I guess it's a beret. And then it has some of those flowers on there. And a couple of the petals have little chips in it, but you got to look for it. And it's double handled. And it's got like some worn gold gilding on it. And get number 12. It's not a tree topper. It's just an ornament, Terry. I thought it was going to be a tree topper. But if you would like, um, just let me know if you still want it. As an ornament. And this little guy. I don't know. He's very like soft. I like that kind of look. Um, and he's a disc. And he is going to be. $8. Number 28. For the double handled. Violin boy. Boss. Good night, Stephanie. Okay. And then I have some of these ornaments that are ceramic. And two of them, I think these were like handcrafted ones. Well, they're Mary and Jesus, and one Jesus is, like, down there, and the other one, she's, like, holding them up next to her face, and they're both ceramic and have little holes for you to put hooks in, and then I have two ceramic snowmen. This one, I believe, holds, like, a battery-powered tea light, and this one, you could probably put cinnamon sticks in or something along those lines. He's kind of... Got an orange nose. And. Oh. And then this cat. With the Santa Claus hat. It's got a little place for you to stick the hook as well. And he's got mistletoe. Or whatever that is. Right there. Or you could just put him as a shelf sitter like that. Oh it probably is. I hope y'all tell me. If y'all can't see anything. Anyway. Welcome back. You'll get all one, two, three, um, four or five ceramic ornaments for five dollars, number 24, for the ceramic ornament lot. Five dollars, number 24. Thank you. 
Okay. So Terry, is that a no on the Dillard's ornament? Next up, I have this little Dutch girl um, planner. And I don't, I mean, she looks shiny to me, but she doesn't have the numbers in the bottom. And she does have a little paint loss on her toe. It's not a chip or a rough patch. And some paint loss on the back side here. And I just stick like a fake succulent in it because I don't want to ruin it. And this little lady is going to be $12, number 26 for the Dutch Girl Planter. Okay, gotcha, Terry. $12, number 26. And she's very pretty colors, um, pink and purple and blues. And I guess she's like, um, I can't think of the right words, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> um, let's see. I didn't pull out too much tonight. I normally pull out way too much. I have these shell salt and pepper shakers. Um, one is, I don't know. I'm not from Florida. This kind of shell and the other is the like hermit crab kind of shell. Got you for number 26, Melanie. Should go well with your little Dutch boy. Um, and these are just going to be $5, number 19, for the pair of shell salt and pepper shakers. And they have rubber stoppers. $5, number 19. And if you're having like a blue and white Christmas theme, I don't know, and you live in Florida or something, I think those would be nice. Or if you live along the coast anywhere, really. Okay. I also have this framed embroidered picture that is probably... 80s or 90s and it was done here in my old hometown of Lafayette and it's just hand stitched I'm pretty sure it's got flowers in a shell and it's got I really can't think of words right now what is the thing that goes around the picture? <laughs> I, get, I have no words, you guys. Um, anyway, it's pretty lovely. It's going to be $12, number eight, for the shell embroidered picture and frame. $12, number eight. No, the thing that goes inside the frame, around the photo. Matting. I just need you to say the word frame, I guess. Katie, I don't know. <laughs> Crap. Um, I have these mermaid magnets. Thank you, Melanie. And they're probably, like, not going to cooperate. Let's see. Nope. But you get these sheets of magnets, and the only magnets that are missing out of all of them are the two fish that go up there. And you can select different fish tails or mer, mer lady tails and like tube tops for them, and all the magnets are falling out. But they're, you know, they're all there except for those two fish. Let's see if I can do this without having a disaster. And I don't think the mermaid girls come to my sales. And I was like, this would be a great gift for somebody's grandchild. But then it was missing 
the two fish. And they stick on these little paper, like laminated paper backgrounds. And you can make mermaid art, or you could just put them on your refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. And this was originally priced at, I want to say, $18, which I can flip it over and tell you. It's $17.95, and you got to be at least four so you don't eat the magnets. And you can put them on your car and make a mermaid family. 64. Oh, that's cold for me. 64. Anyway, it's going to be. $7. Number 11 for the mermaid magnets in a tin set. $7. Number 11. And I'm not sure if I'm going to part with these vases that I bought. Let me do this one that I'm kind of willing to part with because I've enjoyed it enough. It's very mid-century in style, but I do believe the crazing is fake. So I don't think it's actual mid-century. Um, it's a pretty, like blue on the inside and a pretty like faded different shades of green and it's got fake crazing all over it and it's got a couple pinhole pops from manufacturing and it has little foam ditties to keep it from damaging your furniture and you probably really need a height on that let me oh jesus grab this right here this is i would say like 13 inches or 13 and one eighth of an inch it's like 12 inches right there so it's a pretty good size vase anyway it's going to be $22, number 21 for the mid-century green vase, mid-century modern. <laughs> hey, Sherry Lynn. Now, I do still have a Space Needle tree topper that comes in this, like, vintage box but it is plastic, but it does have the like facade of being glass. Like it's swirly kind of looking and it's got the pretty silver glitter pattern. And this one is, um, again, well, it's like right at 12 inches tall. I'm gonna do this for like Five bucks, number six for the um, Space Needle Tree Topper. Five dollars, number six. And like I'd feel bad if I teased y'all with the vases I picked up recently. Here, let's just take some glass from my window seal. Oh, I have these two little birds. I haven't cleaned them yet, but they're salt and peppers and they're made by Price. And they have rubber stoppers. And they're cute. One has three holes, one has two, like a salt and a pepper should. And these would be five dollars, number thirty-four for the. I don't think these are ducks, man. I think they're like baby pigeons. I don't know, baby doves. Five dollars, number thirty-four for the bird salt and pepper shakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
I do have this. I believe it's a crystal elephant because it doesn't have like any bubbles to it, but it could be glass. I don't know why to you. And it's flat bottomed. And it is, I don't know what to say much really about it. It's a clear elephant. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. It may have a couple scratches that I'm not seeing. I don't know what kind of elephant it is, but he's got a short tail and cool. It's got eyes. <laughs> and this is going to be $12, number five for the glass elephant. $12, number five. He's been just living in my window lately. First item I showed. Do you remember what it was? Was it the red picture frame? Or was it the Bavarian Santa? This guy? She wants number six. No, I did not see that, CJ Bailey. Thank you. Connie, Connie. Um, plate. The elephant was twelve dollars, and he was number five. Let me scroll up. You lose it. The plate, like that Andrea by City plate, is that the first thing? I think maybe it was. This one here. Ow. Yeah. The elephant, and this is the plate. Okay, Connie, Connie, I got you for the plate. Why does Manal's name look so familiar to me? <laughs> okay, yeah, here's the elephant. Connie, Connie, I got you for the Andrea by Sedek plate. It was number seven, and it was $8. Yes, the elephant is clear, crystal clear. He has no bubbles, which leads me to believe he's crystal, but he could be um, glass. But I don't think he'd be this clear if he was glass. And he's got like um, a smooth bottom. Yes, sir. It's going to be, or ma'am, I'm sorry. You like elephants? I have a lot of elephants too. That's going to be $12, number five for the elephant. No. Okay. I was like, do I know you from, because I also watch a gambling channel, and I didn't know if that's from where I knew you. Okay. Uh, Don Maserati! Sorry, I yelled. It was kind of loud. What do we have? 15 minutes? Man. I don't know. I have this Christmas tree skirt that probably everybody in here has seen already. And it's not vintage. My vintage one is soaking in the sink. Um, it's on its second soak of OxyClean. And it's the one from before when I was a baby and the one I grew up with. But this one's kind of cool if you're going for like a Grinch theme or the green and red. It's like silky filling and it buttons up. Has little hoops and buttons and it's from 
Martha Stewart, and I can't do her voice like Jeffrey. 2002. And she doesn't like to say what kind of fabric she uses. It's just all new material, she says. So, you know, she got a deal on her fabric. And it's for a full-size tree. That would be $5, number 30, for the Martha Stewart tree skirt. $5, number 30. Dude, if I, if I had my, um, okay, good to know you're a female. If I had my box of elephants near me, which I don't, I could show you those. Um, so let's see. So I have, well, I have to show that recently. I can go back through the stuff that I had not sold yet. And these are the homemade ornaments. I think this is for a doorknob, but I don't know. He's got a bell. And then he's got these little doves. And they have little pearls on their wings. And they have little golden wings and little pearl eyes. I'm sure they're not real pearls. Um, but you could tell they were handmade. And this one has a stain on its little wing. It just makes it a special dove. You know, not every dove is perfect. And there's the other one. And those were going to be uh, $5, number nine. $5, number nine. I don't know what that was, but okay. This is my Celtic Angel Bunch. And this is made from a magnolia cone and it's got a wooden head and moss for hair. And this one has like the little Celtic symbol beaded on his tummy. And he's got a tag, so he's like, I wonder if it has a date on it. He's not handmade, and he doesn't have a date, but it's by Roman Incorporated, and this looks like a Celtic angel to me. She's, like, playing her flute, trying to seduce somebody out into the woods, and then this little angel's turning green, so she's with the bunch, and those are going to be $5, number 14. Maserati. No, you did not win the Dutch planter. Serendipity by Melanie won the Dutch planters. Are you behind? Removing clouding from vintage white opalescent base. Oh, I know what a suggestion is. Um, denture cleaner. Yep. Exactly, Nate. Because I sent one to Maria the California Thrifter. And it was all hard water stained. And she got it out that way. This is a Christmas tree with bells. It was $10, $10 number 15 in case you all missed it. $10 number 15. And it's gold. And... It's over a foot tall, so it's like, I would say 13 and a half inches tall. But now, $5. Yes, I do have you for number five. Manal or Manal? Manal. I wish I knew how to say you. No, I see you, Dawn. You're not blocked here, Dawn. You're probably behind and you need to refresh. You will never be blocked. I told you that. Then I have all these ceramic. Um, I got nine minutes before Katie goes live. Ceramic ornaments. 
two are snowmen and one is a cat. And they're five dollars number twenty four as well. That's a pretty good deal. Here's the like stone kitty and the cinnamon stick holder. I'm just making up what it is. And this holds a battery powered tea light on your Christmas tree. Thanks for both of your answers. Oh, and this is the Virgin Mary and Jesus times two, but in different poses. Okay. A moderator blocked you on thrift you. What the fudge? You want both salt and pepper shakers, the shells and the birds, Connie Connie? Okay. Gotcha for that. I don't know why they would block you, Don. I don't know what happened with the. They say they'd never block anybody. I'll ask them straight up. Next time I'm in, I'm in chat. Connie, Connie. And. Why can't I find it? Oh, it's on the bottom. Oh, kind of, kind of. So that is number 34 and number 19, Connie, Connie. Okay, this is a Santa Claus candlestick holder with a super long gnarly hat. And you can hold it like this and walk around your house. Be like ho 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 ho, and he is eight dollars, number twenty three, and he is ceramic, and that was loud, and I think I just spit, and he is from nineteen ninety. Number 34 and 19. Got you, doggone happy vintage. Yes, 34 and 19, Connie, Connie. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're not blocked on my site, and probably because Maria, the California thrifter, is my only moderator, but I don't know who's doing it. I try CLR and Q tip. What is CLR? Is Don, Don, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Okay, and then I have the 10 Christmas. Either Play-Doh shapers or cookie, cookie dough, cookie cutters, that's the word. They're all Christmas, except there's two that confuse me. One is a turkey and one is a rabbit. But they have little handles and you like push in and they'd be great for peanut butter or sugar cookies or whatever cookies you roll flat. And these were... Maybe I should find them before I do that. <laughs> Christmas cookie cutter, seven dollars, number twenty-seven for the lot of ten cookie cutters. Yeah, eight fifty-six. She is. I don't think she's doing a sale. I think she's reading her book, as she told me. And anyway, I guess I'll stop there.
And this is one of the vases I picked up today, which I thought was really freaking cool. Number six. You want number six sold, Don, the space tree topper. The cookie cutters just I just showed those, and those are number twenty-seven, seven dollars. I don't know if that's what you mean. You have to be so far behind. I don't know what's happening. Number six, and then this was the other really cool one that I picked up, and they're huge. And I'm gonna probably hold on to these puppies for a little while. You got number six? No, no. C.J. Bailey got number six, the space tree topper. I mean, I'll re-double check, but, I mean, that was a while ago. I don't know if my chat will go that far. Probably will. I see you with number 26. No, I went to somebody else, too. Number seven was Connie Connie. Let me see. Going back, going back, going back. Y'all, if y'all don't need to hang around, go. Yeah, CJ Bailey got number six. The um, Space Street Hopper. And 26 already sold to Serendipity by Melanie. Yeah. But anyway, I gotta go because um, Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. No, Don. CJ Bailey got number six. Thank you, Manal. Maybe that'll show up. Awesome, Teresa. Thank you. Katie from Vintage and Final is going live. Um, and Don, you weren't blocked this whole time because I don't think I had any moderators on. Unless Karen's Vintage and More is a moderator, but I know she didn't block you either. And... Yeah, that's at 8.40, C.J. Bailey took number six. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Pam. Bye, Manal. Bye, Angela. Kerfluffle. <laughs> bye. bye, Vintage Conversation. I know you did, but C.J. Bailey already got it. Like you didn't you didn't come into my chat. Hold on. Let me see. You can't always get what you want. I'm backing up the chat. Um Don Maserati. CJ Bailey got it at 8.40, and you came in to chat. Dun, 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 dun. You didn't come until chat till 8.45, and she got it at 8.40. 8.45 is your first comment of my Maserati does 185. It's okay. You're not that person. I still love you. I still need to send you some crystal hot sauce. So I'll be doing that. And we've got to jump over to Vintage and Vinyl's um, show now. So I love you, Don Maserati. Bye, Polly's Project. Bye, everybody. Bye, Victoria. Thank you and good night.